Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to the Grad Club. Thank you. You've been here a bunch before. A lot. A many lot. times before, yeah. Okay. How many, how many times do you think? So, uh, I don't know. I would say between Wolf playing Wolf Island mm-hmm. Festival and yeah, the Grad Club, maybe like a handful of times, five times, yeah. maybe, I, I think. Oh, so, so it's been a lot. We were talking about this a little bit before we started, and you were saying Kingston holds a good spot in your heart. It and does. What I keeps f- bringing you back here? I just feel like the place itself has a really good vibe. I feel like there's a lot of character in the city, and I just feel when I come here relaxed and at ease in some way, or at home in a weird way, even though I just have only been here for touring. I just like to make time here if I am passing through. So it's, yeah, it's just got a good energy to it. Mm -hmm. And you must really like the neighborhood because you ended up in the neighborhood, not exactly (laughs) Kingston, but Prince Edward County. So we were also talking a little bit about that before we started. You found any good new Prince Edward County haunts or? Yeah, I fell in love with the county maybe a couple of years back. So I'm a bit of a newbie because I know... Everybody loves Prince Edward County so much, mm-hmm. but um, I I think I just, what I truly love about it is the landscape, the lakes, the space, mm-hmm. um, just nature. That's a big reason why I wanted to move there, and I was living in Toronto for the last five years, so it was nice to kind of take a step and move out of the city and get some fresh air yeah exactly yeah (laughs) so with the new space and you know maybe not touring as much in the last few months has anything about your practice as a musician changed once you kind of rooted your feet in the county yeah um well my home is a lot different than what my place was like in Toronto Mm -hmm. I lived in a an apartment in the city and the place that I live now is more um conducive to what I need to do And so I have a really nice, like, room to make music, and I have a really cute upright piano that I can play and feel like nobody's listening to me, which is really nice. In my place before, it was just, I just always felt like I was kind of being a little bit more reserved Mm. uh, because I had neighbors around. And um, so, yeah, just my home itself just feels like a really nice, inspiring environment to be creative and get work done. So that's good. And yeah, and just when I take breaks and things like that, it's I get to go for nice walks and be outside and enjoy my surroundings. I've been afraid to tell you Everything going on I still feel like I've been treading Still feel like I'm a kid And I've been wondering will you still love me Even though I'm not what you thought Despite what you don't know Why is it something that you can't look past? I can't pray it away I can't pray it away Tell me everything You feel and I may not agree I don't believe in all the things you do But that doesn't matter to me And 
I've been wondering, will you still love me? Even though I'm not what you thought Yeah, despite what you think Why is it something that you can't look past? I can't pray it away Can't pray it away. I can't pray it away. I can't pray it You know, I hear you talk about space all the time, and I, I watched the video for just a phase that you put out, and it's clear that you're surrounded by the same kinds of natural setting that you're talking about in the county. And yeah. I'm wondering how you feel as an artist, how that seeps into the the record itself, or um, well, this specific experience. So um, Aaron and I worked on the record in um, different chunks of time, and mm. then we'd take breaks. So every time that um, I would uh, go to the studio I'd drive from Toronto to New York to upstate New York and so that was really good for me I enjoyed the long drive on my own to kind of switch gears and get really excited to go and record and then the time that we spent together was you know I I woke up in the studio slept in, in the studio and then we we get to work around 10 in the morning and then work on and off all day and then do the next do it again over the next day and so on so that was really really cool it's nice to like be so focused on something and and also with those drives and and being in that space and just only focusing on a record and having no other distractions or worries was is really special and is good for my process, I think, mm. yeah. Is that a thing that you've learned about your process or is that a thing that you've always known? Well, for, uh, when you're working with different producers, everybody can, everybody has different schedules. Mm. Um, and so it's not always conducive to what you want, mm. <laughs> but um, it's, I, it is a preferred way that I'd like to record. And the thing that was cool about our sessions was and at the time, I kind of just wanted to like be working on it, finish it, do it all in one. But Aaron suggested that it's like it's really important to leave, leave everything and get some perspective and come back with fresh ears. So mm. that was, I think, really important to the process as well. Stop pulling me apart. Stop opening up my heart. You know you have a way to keep me around It's not my fault I love you I, I made it all about you But your disappearing tricks get me down Think 
We shouldn't have to try so hard like we do Someday I'll get over you Someday I'll get over you And you'll become something You'll become something I forgot Cause you are someone I don't know Yeah, you are someone I don't know You are me walk right out watch me walk right out watch me walk right out watch me walk right out So, you know, as you move through with your album release coming out in the next year, lots of folks, especially in Kingston, we, we love listening to you. We want to support you. And mm -hmm. as a musician, it feels like a silly question for me to ask, but like, I wonder how you think that regular everyday folks can support you in this unprecedented time. Yeah. Um, do you want me? I'm sorry. I thought no, no. Go ahead. Um, I guess like big ways to, to show support is just to stream the music mm. listen um on whatever platform that you like to listen to stream it on spotify um follow follow the artists that you love and just support them check out when they're doing live stream shows and buy a ticket um that's i think the best way that you can show your support to artists that are uh trying to survive during the pandemic so mm -hmm. yeah Awesome. Well, thank you for coming to the club today Aww, and playing with thanks us. Thanks for having and me. It's chatting really with lovely. us. Yeah, I hope you have a nice time. We've got some time in Kingston. Yep. Are there any like bucket list must do's mm. every time you come here? Or There's a place where I don't even know what it's called, but a bakery where we're going to get some bread. Yes. <laughs> we have some. We have a few of those. Yeah. Bread is a must that. have. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Hannah. I'm so thank glad to you. meet you and chat yeah, with you. Yeah, thanks for talking to me. It was a great afternoon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.